Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Wednesday, the last day of the January 2024. Let's take a look at the economic calendar for today. As you can see, I got only the most important uh, data uh, scheduled for release uh, today. One of those data had been released already. Manufacturing PMI from China uh, were in line with the expectations of 49.2 points. We are still waiting uh, for the release of German CPI, which is scheduled for release at 2 o'clock. Market participants expect a hike from 0.1% to 0.2%. And then we got the ADP non-farm employment change, scheduled for release at quarter past 2. Uh, then we got crude oil inventories, scheduled for release at half past 4. And at the end of the day, we got the Fed interest rate decision, together with the FOMC statement and FOMC press conference so this is the uh, key event uh, for today uh, and uh, market participants expect the fed to leave the interest rate at the level of 5.5 percent what is even more um, important is the press conference conference of the uh, fed because we might see the forward guidance uh, for the um, further monetary policy uh, um, that uh, will take place in 2024 and maybe even in 2025. <clears throat> so that's the situation for the Wednesday. Uh, it looks like it will be a very busy, uh, busy day for the traders. So let's get straight to the charts. And we are going to start with, of course, Euro dollar. Euro dollar for our chart uh, is uh, looking uh, quite, uh, quite bearish, uh, despite the fact that possible ending uh, a possible uh, falling wedge uh, might have been uh, completed because we got a breakout towards the new uh, level here new local high uh, 1.0858 well this local high is still below the uh, high of the the previous high 1.0887 so it looks like uh, we are testing right now the uh, one one of the lines of the uh, falling wedge and the level of 1.08 uh, 15 which is the technical support and of course if there is another uh, movement to the downside um, the market participants especially bears who will likely uh, test the level of 1.0797 as well the momentum still trades below level of 50 which means the momentum is negative and the bears are in charge of the market uh, so we will have to break easily above this high here 1.0858 in order for the momentum to break above the level of 50 towards positive uh, territory so um, right now it doesn't actually looks like the market is ready to do it the recent bounce from the 1.0797 low was in three waves as you can see a b c and then we got the uh, pin bar at the end of the wave c and the reversal uh, inside bar then bearish engulfing and the reverse are lower uh, so it all looks like the market is still under the bearish pressure uh, and the bears are in charge of the uh, euro uh, dollar nevertheless <coughs> it all might change uh, after the fed interest rate decision today eight o'clock now uh, this is the euro dollar let's just find out what the us dollar index is doing because of course uh, Fed we will give the interest rate decision later on. So let's just uh, check all of the markets uh, that are susceptible to the uh, Fed decision. US dollar index very very narrow range since the low at 102.74. The market is still above the level of 50 momentum wise, which is uh, quite positive for the bulls, and it's still. Um, looking to test the level of 103.79 this is the nearest technical resistance the other one is 100 and uh, let me see 104.24 so right now we're testing the 50 periods moving average and a movement to the upside might be a little bit um, interesting because the market has been 
um, capped twice already when we move towards this level so any breakout will be considered bullish and then of course the next target is on the on the chart only a sustained breakout below 100 periods moving average and below the technical support at 102.74 would change the outlook to more bearish so euro dollar down us dollar index up what is gold doing as you can see the gold is right now as well trying to move higher we got this pin bar here with the top at 2048 but then the market re reversed very very quickly below this uh, this little high here at uh, 2038 nevertheless we are going to switch this high to this one okay that's the that's the nearest one we broke um, above this uh, technical uh, this this trend line okay but there is something like this maybe there you go if we put our trend line like this well the breakout wasn't really that that impressive okay I'm talking about the orange line here uh, we are trading uh, above the 50 and 100 periods moving average the momentum is positive but any spike to the upside is being faded by uh, by bears in order to continue the up move we definitely need to um, uh, break above the internal trend line the blue one here so we need to break above this uh, trend line with ease that's that's a little bit all the trend line uh, we can if we can adjust this trend line you can see that uh, to the extreme low of the December 13th you can see that this market just hit this uh, trend line and moved lower so we need to definitely break above this blue trend line and then go towards the 2063 uh, level for now it all looks uh, rather bullish however the, the the bullish attempts are being capped by uh, by bears that are not throwing the towel just just yet and the gold is in a very very <laughs> very bad place uh, uh, because it's between um it, it, it's, it's between the um, trend line the, the blue trend line and the orange trend line so it, it looks like <coughs> again the market participants await the fed interest rate decision on this market uh, as well in the background of course if we if we zoom out yeah, if we zoom out we can see this big spike towards 2141 then we got this very nice correction then again attempt to rally and then the market uh, is uh, is getting a little bit less violet it's like us we are like starting like a kind of a horizontal trend nevertheless the long-term trend is still up okay so the ease of move is still to the upside instead of the uh, of uh, to the downside right so that's the situation on the on the gold outlook is bullish and especially if we break above the blue trend line so and the last but not least let's just take a look at the us dollar to the japanese yen mostly because we got some um, uh, this this market is a very susceptible to any of the uh, uh, fed uh, announcements so the situation current situation on the US dollar to Japanese yen is uh, very very um, limited both to the upside and to the downside the upside level is 148.35 uh, the downside level the technical support intraday technical support is 147.13 so US dollar to the Japanese yen is stacked between those two levels here between 50 and 100 periods moving average and it's hovering just around the level of uh, 50 which is the neutral level so indecision neither bulls nor bears are in in charge of the market in the short term we are waiting for the trigger we are waiting for the trigger to that will spark some side um some some sort of the um, directional movement on the us to japanese yen in the short term in the background we have a very nice impulsive movement to the upside okay and then please don't forget that the level of let's say 151.88 is the top uh, of the last year and this year and then there is very very slopey um, correction towards 140 level and this rally looks very good but we need another breakout to the upside in order to continue the longer term 
uh, trend. So um, it it still looks very very much bullish, but um, it might not uh, come as a surprise that after this period of the consolidation, we will have some spike to the downside. Nevertheless. Uh, according to our analysis, US dollar index is going up, Euro dollar is going down, gold doesn't actually do that much, uh, it's trying to move to the upside, uh, and now the situation is a little bit unclear with the US dollar to Japanese yen, we are locked in this tight range and we are waiting for the trigger to move uh, somewhere, maybe the Fed interest rate decision today at 8 o'clock will be that spark that will trigger some kind of a nice movement upside or downside. The bias is to the upside because of the uh, immediately prevailing uh, trend of the on the US dollar to Japanese yen. That's everything from me for today. Thank you very much for watching this analysis and I hope I see you guys next time. Take care and bye bye.